Okay, boys, Demcorp popping at Electric MX this morning. What do we got going on here, Alex? Just gonna pull the battery out of the old uh, Huron here. We gotta pull the battery out and get her charging, and see what the heck's really going on with this thing, eh? Oh, yeah. Pretty cool, you just take those two bolts out right there and Bob's your uncle, Susan Duran, as they say, right? You got it. <laughs> so, <clears throat> first time I was messing around, I was trying to figure out how to get it off, and I'm going, what the heck's really going on right here? Let me feed the top right out. Yeah. It's like snug right on the back or something like that. Yeah. Like that? Boom, just like that. You got the whole, like, uh, what's that called? Like a seat slash semi fairing kind of thing pretty cool right yeah yeah it's all one unit and this is the big beast of a battery right here so that's your like hull wiring and that's your positive and negative right so see how it's already oh, yeah. locked in by the hull yeah so you have to use that connector and give it a little quarter twist the unlock see the unlock Take that. pop it right off yep beauty and then now your battery is able to come off and then for the battery, it's these bad boys right here that are holding it in. They should just push down, pop it over, just like that. The old Storm B battery removal. <laughs> Two straps, you're gonna need them, eh, bro? Holy. Oh, how much does that weigh, bro? Solid 40, 50 pounds. More, no? More? Yeah, it might be. Might, yeah, might you're work. Jack, eh? You're working too <laughs> hard. Pulling wire. What you doing, bro? I'm unpacking the transformer. I'm gonna put the power supply in it. No, no, not for the transformer. We just gotta do this one here. Oh. Yeah, that one's for sale. <laughs> so what we're doing here is the tar charger here comes with a little Wuhan special. So this is the Wuhan special. So for us to operate in Canada, we have to put a little converter to make it plug into 240. So this configuration here, this is a cool little Leviton product. Yeah, it, that is a transformer. You had the right idea, but that's going to be charging and that's going to charge the light and uh, the storm be real fast. <laughs> that thing right there, eh, bro? <laughs> that way we rip her open. Oh, we would charge it in ten minutes. That'd be sweet. That's the, that's that's the serious charger. So on this cord in here, we just have to snip this off, and then we can use our configuration. Well, whether we want to use thirty or fifty. And uh, what do we got here? Our, our weld and plug we got set up. Our weld and plug we got set up here is 50. So we're setting that up with the two straight blades. So she can just plug right in. Alrighty, so that's how we're gonna mod that one out so we can charge it up. So let's put the, um, uh, put the, fair, or the seat set up back on this beast and I'm gonna roll it out and put it on display here and that's pretty uh, interesting. You made that look pretty easy there, Alex, because I was uh, struggling the first time to get it off, bro. <laughs> you gotta all loosen that for me. Yeah, I, de I definitely loosened that for you, bro. Look at, look at that. There's the computer, That's eh? the controller, yeah, holy. Yeah. That's sweet, dude. Yeah, they're talking like business. Like, rubber mount. This is, this is yeah. really, really well built. A little Very cooling well. fan in there. Oh, yeah. Yeah, really, really cool. Yeah, they really thought about this one when they put it together. Yeah, this is a very, very high quality, high quality, eh, bro? Yeah, oh yeah. And then another thing we got to fix up is here, uh, Alex, on the on the light bee here, we're getting a little aggressive with the demo rides and uh, that, that Allen key is like ripped off here. Oh, so okay. take these all off, kind of straighten it out and maybe see if we got to put a washer or something. Beauty, yeah. This, the yeah, I don't even think you'll need one that big. Maybe like a little one, right? Yeah, yeah these things, the demo models take a beating, eh, bro? Oh, yeah. Gotta yeah. put them to the test. Yeah, we got to see who, what they can better, do, right? So, do it, what I was going to say was we haven't heard back from from Venom yet for that b battery for your quad, or for the motor for your quad, right? Why don't you tell them what, what happened to the quad? Well, in trying to put it through the, te the proper testing, I decided to take it through some real deep snow. And it got uh, in through the motor. And it looks like it rusted out all the brushes inside. So as soon as you turn the key on, put her in, say, forward, grab the throttle, it just makes a little grinding noise and doesn't go nowhere. So 
did some testing, made sure the, that the motor was getting the proper signal it should. All was well there, so I come to the conclusion it needs a new motor. Freaking A. So hopefully that'll be under warranty. That's the plan, or else we're going to have to put some turbocharged motor in there, eh, bro? Yeah, oh yeah, put the big beast in. Buddy, imagine putting this back. <laughs> like, look at the size of this thing, man. <laughs> 90 volt, 48 amp hour, freaking monstrosity. Yeah, that would be a beast on one of those little, little quads. Pretty, yeah, like, or you put this, like, if you didn't stack up the cells and you just left it at like 48 volts, you could have your amp hours at like a, over 100 or whatever, and yeah. you could drive forever. Yeah, man, so. Well, we got it. Well, the best way to do this puppy is right here. Here, kick cone for four wire. And we got three. Yeah, that's all we need, bro. No, no neutral in this situation here. So, you can sl slide your your straight blade in right here. Slide your straight blade in right here. All right, and then you still got your ground, right? So slide your ground in, uh, sorry, that's the neutral. So neutral has that L in it, right? The ground's got the U ground, right? So that goes in all like that, right? And then put your wiring in there. Put this little bumper piece to sm small it up because this is for a larger size wire, right? Yeah. So large it up and then uh, even what I usually do is I'll put like wherever it's making contact right here after I lay in my wires. I'll put uh, like a bunch of tape there just to, to fill the void too, bulk right? Up. Yeah, bulk her up, exactly, bro. Nice, and then we can get that Storm B battery charging big time, quick time, 240. Pretty interesting, this freaking thing. What do you think about this bike, bro? That thing looks huge, man. It's not a joke, eh? No, it looks like it's gonna rip some serious trails. It's, it's, uh, it, this thing's street legal. Turn signals. Brake lights, headlights, high beam, <coughs> the works, bro. <coughs> this one's really fun. It's yeah. perfect for like entry level. You can. So what you're saying is that's the one I'm gonna ride because I haven't been on one of these in years. That's right. That's <laughs> the bike you're gonna start with. That's my wife. That's my wife's bike. Oh, thanks. Yeah. <laughs> You're gonna ride this one, the white spike. You, yeah. you wussy. And then, hey, we got the same thing happen back here too, hey, Alex. I don't know if there's any way you can can get this puppy going oh, on. Oh yeah, that one's giving me some problems a few times. The old flapperoo, eh? Yeah. Yeah. The old Chiron takes a beating. I'm pretty sure my brakes are like metal on metal by this point, man. <laughs> yeah, the way you drive it, I don't oh, believe that. Wouldn't be surprised, eh? Yeah. So what do you think about electric vehicles, Alex? I think that they have uh, they have their place. They have their like style of riding. They're not obviously they're not gonna be beneficial for everybody to use one. But you know, especially like living in the city, your options are kind of limited and people really like to complain about noise around here. Yeah, so oh yeah. It's a win-win there. And hey, like if you want to do some like cool trails or something like that, yeah, very torquey. They're never going to have a problem lugging you up a hill or anything like that. Yeah. And you can get past cops without them even hearing you coming. Exactly. Me and Jordy, we were on the Nikot. We just did the trail. We're come bombing down the road in Mexico over here. And frickin' there's a cop right at the corner. And we're double double down, pinned on the Nikot. Like, yeah. That thing goes fast. Oh, yeah, it does. And then, sure enough, he didn't even see me, you know? He was just <laughs> probably sleeping or texting or whatever. Yeah, yeah, we cruise right by because no noise, no nothing. Yeah. I'm looking, oh, no, no. He probably didn't even flinch. <laughs> what, what do you think about e-cars? Because your car is really fuel efficient. So what do you think about electric cars? I like electric them for the cars? charge factor. I don't like them for the fact that we pay too much money in it from our government to go buy, buy our power from the fucking U.S. Yeah. So really, is this helping Canada or is this just helping the U.S. take our money? The old Niagara Falls. But what really gets me is like how you just said about your car. You put $60 in. Yep. You get between four and 600 kilometers, depending on how you drive more or less, yeah. right? On the electric car, you only get like, say, 
200 to like 500k if you get a really good one right so then therefore you're so limited and then your charge time after that you have to wait you can't just go and fill up that 60 bucks at the tank you have to go and wait the hour two hours three hours 12 hours whatever your charging situation time is right that's yeah. why sometimes we're gonna have to install these big boy transformers here to get people charging quick we're doing a ford lightning charger eh boys yeah, we got a lightning charger coming up this month. The guy gets it. Sweet. Yeah. Should be really cool. Yeah, it should be a different experience from the Tesla one. Yeah, it's it's a it's a hundred hundred amp home charger. So, so they do a service upgrade too, or they got two hundred already? So they got two hundred, but they got a big house. We're gonna and and the wife's also getting an electric car. So now we're gonna look into what options there are for there's like current monitoring systems to see how much power is in your house and how much is available to actually charge your car. So you don't have to upgrade. Imagine upgrading these people's house to a 400 amp service now, bro. So yeah. you're talking like 20 grand, 30 grand, like on top of the price of your car just to be able to charge it. So is that is that efficient? Like, no, definitely not. And then you get the question, does the city grid actually have enough power coming out of you, your yeah, area? Yeah, exactly. And then all of a sudden that. everybody starts getting it, right? That's why they're coming up with different technology and different options for this stuff, right? Should be. Do that to the other side. That looks better than factory. Come on, she's modded right out. See what we can do about that flapperoo, eh? A little CRF one fifty fender never hurt anybody, eh? No. Couple more tie straps and you're good. Yeah. So what about this charger? How many? Uh, how many amps is this bad boy? So this is 220 volts in. It works between 45 and 65 hertz. The output onto the, D onto the DC battery is 105 volts at 12 amps because our battery is 90 volts. So you want to hit the peak of that. So this thing is pretty sweet. It's nice and small. This is like the same size charger because because when you have the 240, you can have a smaller, smaller, um, coils inside there converting it to dc with the inverters and everything in the rectifier circuit so it's freaking perfect man i really like really like it man i'm excited i'm excited i really want to see this this battery is at like four percent or something let's see it's like right dead i like last time i had it the bike said four percent is flashing so let's give her the first charge and see how long this one takes Storm B, light B. Yeah, it's pretty funny how convenient this battery is to take out. Yeah, that, that was very that, easy. That one wasn't bad on the freaking Storm B. I was surprised. No, no, not bad at all. This one you just pop out like this. Pull your wires off and there's when when the light bees are sold there's a green and black wire that comes as a loop right comes as a loop for the speed so when they're selling them it's like a safety feature so you gotta cut that if you want to unleash the beast when when they come stuck they only go like i don't know like 20k or something like that so it kind of sucks nobody wants to go that slow right no you want to rip I'm on a motorcycle. I want to go fast. Ricky Bobby. Yeah. Beef that up. Beauty. We got a little duplex conversion on the go today. Should, should be halfway through rewiring the upstairs stuff. Hey, boys. Yeah. Oh. I'd say we're a little more than halfway. More than halfway? How many junction boxes were down there? There was like 30 junction boxes. 12. 12 junction boxes? 12 junction boxes. There's two still, two still standing, providing temporary power. Gotcha. So yeah, there was junction boxes everywhere. Frick, yeah, I seen a lot. I seen a lot. Where was that, uh, there's like that one big 8-3, that black wire that was like coming from the front corner of the house. Remember you were messing with on the ladder there? Oh yeah. Where was that going? 
I have no idea where that's going up yet. We, ha we haven't sourced that yet. Dryer? Or does it go out the back of the house? It seems like it goes out the front. The front? Yeah. Oh. No, no, the one that goes out the front of the house, that just runs into the junction box in like the cold room area. And it's got a light on it and GFI. Oh. Because there's a plug on the side of the shed out there. And I see there's a wire running out to it. That's going to be a fun one to read. Oh, yeah. You can reuse, right? Yeah. <laughs> what do you think about these little quads? Like this one opposed to the one you got. They're, Alex uh, Alex got the thirteen hundred watt, a little ripper, and this one's the uh, fifteen hundred watts, like big and heavy. Yeah, it's, it's a better like cruising quad. Like if you want to go like off road or something, that would be the choice. You know, it's got the uh, bigger like bigger tires, bigger tires. Sh shaft drive, right? Shaft drive. That one's our little one there. It rips, but it's got a little dinky chain on it too, right? Yeah, I wouldn't really want to like come into a problem with that today. No. This one I find like it just doesn't have enough balls, like because it starts to get heavy and it's only yeah. got two hundred more watts. I want to put uh, I want to put that KX uh, battery in this thing, eh, bro? Yeah, you want to try doing that. I want to I want to like overvolt it and s and see how how much because this is seventy two volt seventy two volt controller and uh, battery. and battery. So yeah. if we slam that up. <laughs> to there, right? Yeah. I want to see how that goes. Well, yeah, you know, like they always have the motor. Okay, it's a forty-eight volt motor, but it's actually can handle. Yeah. Way higher voltage. So. Yeah, that's what we've been seeing, right? That's what we yeah. keep wondering about, right? So I'd I'd be interested to try it because I also saw that I can get these batteries or these motors like with the shaft and everything with a little bit more power, like to 20, 22, 3,000 watts, you know, and this one's yeah. 1,500. Right, okay. So I'm thinking like this one might have the potential to be maybe it's a little like bit better, you know? Math produced motor and that's thing actually. That's what it is. Do you see any uh, rating on this bitch right here? Hey, can we like oh, here she is right here. What's it say here? Yeah. Don't remember, have to worry about remember, no fluids, like leaking. yeah. Remember that voltage regulator with the guys? Yeah, <laughs> picture on there. So this one says B six twelve hundred forty eight twelve hundred. This is supposed to be fifteen hundred watt, right? Maybe that's the thing, eh? Yeah. It's getting a little rusty in there. I'm sure this thing's gonna blow sooner or later, and we'll modder out. Yeah, that'd be cool, right? Yeah, put, man. Put you a, got tons of room in here. To, that's what I mean. Big, battery. Bigger battery, right? Because <laughs> this one, I believe, is running 48 volts. Hey, Water, what's up? Morning. Pikes. <laughs> Pretty cool. Oh yeah, use it up, pal. We got oh, a lot. Dude, this the, the gap in this is huge. Oh yeah, that's what she said. And there's no stopper washer. Yeah, that that green piece won't help you. What green piece? That little green. Yeah, that, no, I'm talking with it. Oh okay, still needs lots. Yeah. Shit, look at the size of that hole. Oh, that's a what she... mother. Oh, oh yeah, mo mother of six. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I find I find this bike pretty interesting too because when I first looked at it, like the shock's so vertical and all my race bikes are on like an angle, right? And they changed that angle with the uh, with the linkage suspension. And this one, they put the shock so vertical so they could fit that big ass That's battery in there. Battery in there. <laughs> pretty cool. Well, that's the, that's the downfall with these things. You have to look at your charge, charge life versus usage life. Yeah, like what do you really need out of it? And what can it get? And you have to use it in that manner. You can't just be driving this thing to Ottawa or whatever. You know what I mean? You got to like... Well, I could probably make it to Ottawa. I just got to find somewhere, somewhere to plug in every, you know, once in a while. Ellie. Oh, what up? It's cruising. We just, got everything out. What's going on? I got the bikes here. We're just putting them out front. Getting the sail on them. Getting the sail, yeah. Fixing them up. Put, put the charger. See the size of this battery? <laughs> look at this thing. Yeah, I thought I'd be charged. Oh, look at the thing. Yeah. The tank. No wonder you couldn't lift it onto the stand. <laughs> yeah, the bike's nice and light now. Does it take two guys to lift this? Check it out. 
Yeah, but to set it in the bike, you'll need a guy holding that side. This is Alex did both. He just lifted up. That's nice how they got the both grips on there. Yeah, pretty sweet, eh? Holy shit, Kelly. What the hell are you guys doing? <laughs> Right now? We're about, he's just no, setting up the charger. We gotta put right the now. 240 charger on it, right? <laughs> Is that the only spot you're gonna have to fit right here? Yeah, right Is there. there. A plug there. Yeah, we put the welding plug in, right? What welding one? This one. one. This one here. Pull down way down there. 30 amp. 120. Oh, that's that's third. That that's oh. what I was gonna ask. Yeah, because this is 50, and then we got the converter to 30 right here. So it actually has to plug in right here. Yellow. 50. No, this is 50. Good here. Did we set that up for 30 or 50? That's. Uh, hey, Dad. That, that looks like 50. What's your breaker up here? Uh, I thought it was. I thought we had something that was a 30. The construction heater up there. There. That plug's 30. Oh, that's 30. Yeah. Remember? The garage. No, that's that's. That's double Chinese. Yeah, 30 like that. That's 3250. Oh. You want 3120? No, no, I want. Uh, this is set up for thirty. That's this one, son. But I think the does that got the one smaller prong though, right, Dad? Yeah, well, you guys built it wrong. Where's the smaller prong? Comes with the kit. We got the kit. I don't see the smaller prong. The smaller prong is a fifty. These are go sideways. So it's, that kit says it's a thirty fifty. So does that maybe plug in in there? there nope. That's what I mean. That one leg. It's too Where's your small plot frog? Where it comes in the kit there? Where's the little one? There isn't a little this, one. This They're both the camp. same size. Oh. So like one leg is supposed to be smaller to set up for 50, is it not? What did you buy? 30, 30 50. 50. It's a four wire one, not a three oh, wire. Oh, four wire. So like if you want to use it for a stove plug. Actually, uh, dude, yeah. that's what we can do. There should be a slam that one. neutral. Uh, no, actually, we can plug this right into that stove plug that's right there. There you go. All right, let me see. That's okay. Let me just check and make sure she plug in. That one? So th okay, this one, different. yeah. So this one goes that into one? stove plug like that. That's a stove plug. Yeah, that's a stove plug. Hang on, but where's your other wire? For we don't. There? We don't need a neutral, right? That's your neutral on the okay. center blade there, right? What about? And then we'll go down there because that's cause a that's small a, one. That's a fifty. Yeah. And this thirty sideways. Okay, I we're... thought you're supposed to. Do... Are the sideways the ones the same right down? Sorry. I think that's when it when it's a two fifty volt. You see only, when they're right? wide? Yeah. <clears throat> that that that's to make a thirty <clears throat> amp. I see. Okay. <clears throat> you don't need to plug that and leave it out in case you want to use it. <clears throat> Your buddy's working today. Who? Jordy. Where at? He's out the front. Oh, yeah, sure. Uh, he, what's, Says what's he, his name? Uh, he's a real little worker. You should see him. Jetty? Yeah. Yeah, he's an animal. My buddy Shay. He, he, uh, My buddy Shay's he's here. Carrying some big box out to the truck over his head. He's tripping, falling. <laughs> carrying the gun in there. He took all the stuff out. <clears throat> Uncle Joe was going to take his awning to the dump. He had an awning out there. We should have gotten re. re Clothed it. Yep. He took it to, he was taking it to the dump. I said, the minimum charge is like 28 bucks. He goes, no way, they won't charge me that. He just put it out on my thing. All right, we're good. We're good to go? Okay, let's plug her in and see what we got. Uh oh, baby, easy. Uh -oh. Hey, you want a hundred ground rod, Billy? Uh oh, I got so many there. The light bees? The cord was like three feet long. And I'm like, fuck, this guy's gonna want to pull his stove out and then I do it, put it back and leave the charger there. Okay, how does this thing plug in here? Do you your half turn? It's like. No, you gotta go part way down, probably, and then turn the blue. You wanna do it, Alex? Does she lock in? Yeah. There it is. Okay, sweet. Hopefully it's all wired up, right? Yeah. It's impossible to mess it up unless you put the ground in, right? No. Yeah. As, he's, <laughs> as he shoves her in. <laughs> no, yellow with the green stripes, the ground. So we're good. That's what the light 
it is. There it is. Yep. You're good. This guy's trying to give me a freaking heart attack, eh? You're hungry? Let's go get some breakfast. You want a and or Tim Hortons? I want Tim Hortons. <laughs> okay, let's walk, let's walk over there. Oh, you want to take the quad over there? Let's take the quad. What kind of question is that yeah, to ask? You know he's going quad. Okay, let's go. Jordy, say what's up to, to, to BroTube, eh? What's up? Did you tell him to uh, like and subscribe and all that? Like and subscribe. <laughs> like and subscribe. Are you a, are you a Jordy gamer? Mm-hmm. You want to put the bikes out? Can we put the bikes out first and then we'll go get breakfast? Is that cool? Yeah. Okay, let's go. Jump on the jump on the light be there. Okay. You want to keep them or you can toss them? Garbanzo, but uh, I want to keep that uh, box for the charger, right? Because I'll be she'll go with the sale. My dad's gonna kick my ass now for your uh, for opening Probably up the, the transformer. <laughs> hey, you put it on top. You said wire it up. I'm like, yeah. okay, well it's all together. <laughs> I'm doing my math, man. Yeah. Work from top to bottom. Okay, hold tight, buddy.